Hey guys, I've got a fun video for you today. We are gonna be doing uh, like a full face of Bobbi Brown, um, but I'm really interested in this Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, has an SPF 15. Um, I saw this on the Sephora site and I was really intrigued by it. I think the words multi-dimensional matte finish really, really caught my eye. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this out. We're gonna be doing a full day wear test uh, with, well, with the whole full face of Bobbi Brown, but really we're gonna be focusing in on this foundation. I wanna see how it wears throughout the day. And of course I'll do my check-in and all of that good stuff. Um, it's about seven o'clock in the morning now. So we are going to, uh, probably do a final check-in at around five. So we'll get a nice like 10 hour wear test in there. Before we jump into the application and everything, I just wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Bobbi Brown. Thank you so, so much. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So the Vitamin Enriched Face Base is like a primer slash moisturizer. It is probably, I wanna say, because this was a long time ago, I'm trying to think back. This was probably the first product I used that really, helped me appreciate what a primer was. So, you know, way back in the day, I really didn't know what the advantage was to using a primer. I thought, well, if I put down all my skincare, I have a moisturizer down, like really, what's the big deal? Um, I don't really have large pores. I didn't really need like pore filling. If anything, I wanted something that would be like an extra layer of moisture. And that's what this is. I can't remember where I heard about this first, but I ran out and got this and I probably went through two jars of this. It is so, so, so lovely. And it has a lovely, like fresh citrusy scent, which if you guys just watched my perfume collection video, you guys know that I am a sucker for a citrusy scent. Yeah, it smells like grapefruit. And it has this lovely, like pudding-like texture. So I'm just gonna apply some while we chat here, but the reason why this turned me on to primers was not only uh, was it a moisturizer, but it has this uh, like little bit of smoothing to it that I didn't realize could happen. <laughs> I really didn't have that much experience with primer when I first used this, but since using this, there really aren't that many products out there that I feel like like do such a good job moisturizing, protecting my skin, but also like a nice smoothing. Because again, it's not like I needed any kind of pore filling, but this really lays down like a nice canvas for makeup. And like I said, it really helps me appreciate the idea of a primer and not just a moisturizer for my skin. So this is one of my all-time favorite primers, uh, let alone one of my all-time favorite products from Bobbi Brown, the Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I know a ton of people who rave about this product and rightly so, it is amazing. All right, and on to the foundation. So again, this is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, SPF 15, and I have it in the shade Sand, number two. Comes in this beautiful glass bottle with a pump top. And I do have their uh, full coverage face brush. So I guess I'll go ahead and use this. This looks like, uh, like a dome top kabuki brush. So here is the full coverage face brush. So I'll give this a whirl. I believe these are synthetic hairs. And I think this should be a decent match, maybe a little bit light, but I think that's fine, especially now that it's February and <laughs> I, ha I haven't really seen the sun in a while. Um, so I think this will be fine, let's see. So in terms of the sunscreen, it is a mixture of chemical and physical sunscreen. There's octanoxate and then titanium dioxide. All right, so I'm just gonna pump some out onto the back of my hand. Oh, it has a very lightweight texture. You can see it's kind of running down the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna pick a little bit up with the brush. So I'm just putting a little bit on. It says that the coverage is medium, but I think you can apply it fairly sheerly. As you guys know, my preference is like a light medium. So that is good news to me. I am using very, very little. I use that little half pump on the back of my hand all over my face. So if you're into a light medium coverage like I am, I think that could work, you know? Just like a half pump for your entire face. But I will apply a little bit more uh, just to see if we can build it up for those of you who are maybe interested in like a fuller coverage. Well, I'm really happy that I can get this light medium coverage. I think it looks really nice. I think the face base is still coming through a little bit. So I have like a nice like radiance. 
Ooh, it's nice. Uh, but let me go ahead and pump out like another, let's do like another half pump here and build on this. So I just applied like another light layer onto this half of my face. So yeah, I definitely see a bit more coverage there. Definitely buildable. I'm trying to decide whether I've gotten to a medium coverage. I think so. I think the hyperpigmentation here is pretty well hidden <laughs> uh, versus here. I think you can probably see like my red splotches down here. And this looks pretty blanked out. All right, so two light layers will give you a medium coverage. And while I'm applying another light layer to this half of my face, I'm just on the Sephora site, and I just wanted to read to you some of the claims of this foundation. So um, it is sweat resistant, transfer resistant, um, non-acnegenic. This mask friendly formula delivers flexible coverage that lasts up to 16 hours and won't crease or streak. We will definitely be putting this to the mask test because I have to go, I have to go grocery shopping today. I have like no food in the refrigerator. So we're definitely gonna be doing that today. Incredibly smooth and blendable. I would have to agree with that. Um, it glides on for a second skin feel. What I will say is I don't feel it on my skin at all. So yeah, definitely a second skin feel. As you guys know, I mention this all the time. I don't like when I can feel my makeup. That really bothers me and I can't feel this. That thin kind of lightweight texture is very, very nice. So again, we've got two light layers. I think we've reached like a medium level coverage there. And this brush was really nice, very soft. And I don't feel like it was streaky at all. It didn't take a lot for it to blend in. So that's the full coverage face brush. Very nice. So as you guys know, when I do like full day wear tests with foundation, I try not to put on too many other things that may, I don't know, it, you know, interfere with the wear test. So I'm not gonna put on any concealer. Um, I do have a little bit of their sheer finish pressed powder. So what I think I'm gonna do is powder one half of my face. Again, just kind of just to see like, you know, if this foundation wears well with powder uh, because I have dry skin, I think it'll be really interesting to see like if the powdered side kind of starts to look a little bit too dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder the right side of my face. So we'll be using the Sheer Finish Press Powder in number five, Soft Sand. And I don't think I've ever used a Bobbi Brown Press Powder, so I'm so curious. I'm just gonna use a big fluffy powder brush and start around the eyes. And I'm just pouncing just a teensy bit. Not too much. All right, so it's just applied to this half of my face. And I think you can see it did a really nice job kind of bringing down the shine. So here it is powdered. Here it is without, I think you can see the shine there. Again, I have dry skin, so I never really mind shiny skin. <laughs> Something I welcome actually, but this is really, really nice, kind of like soft matte finish. All right, so before we move on to the color products, I just wanna zoom you in so you can get a good look at how this foundation looks, how the powdered side looks versus the non-powdered side. Um, so I'm gonna start with my forehead and kind of move down towards my chin. So we have a nice starting point, so we have something to compare it to later on today. Uh, but I think it's really just sitting nicely on my skin. I don't feel like it's emphasizing lines. I don't think it's, it's not doing anything weird, basically. And I do have, you know, random texture around my face and it's not picking up on dry patches or anything like that. It looks really, really nice. All right, so I am going to apply a little bit of bronzer. You guys know how much I love my um, Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in Stone Street. This is one of the few matte bronzers that I love, like absolutely love. The tone of this is, Amazing. So I'm just gonna apply this lightly. I don't want anything too dramatic today. Again, you know, kind of focusing on the foundation and my complexion, but I just wanna add a little bit of color back to my face. So I will say the side that I didn't powder, I'm having a little bit of, um, or I should say it's taking me a little bit longer to blend out the product. I do feel like it blends out eventually, but this foundation, you know, I don't think it needs powdering, but there's a, like the slightest bit of tack to it. So just an FYI. Next up for blush, I have Coral Sugar. Oof, wow, this looks pretty. 
Look at that, like a nice kind of bright pink. Little bit of peach in there, little touch of peach. Just gonna throw some onto the apples of my cheeks here. Ooh, how pretty. What a great everyday blush shade. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, and it goes so well with that Stone Street. Ooh. That is Coral Sugar, number 45 of their blush. Ooh, so pretty. I'm just swatching it to see if there's any sheen. It's a matte blush, but I feel like there's just a, like a little, a little bit of something. I wouldn't even say it's like a satin. It's like a demi matte. Oh yeah, doesn't that look, it's so pretty. It's so soft on the cheeks. All right, and next up for highlighting powder, I have their Pink Glow. And I feel like, I can't remember if I've used these Bobbi Brown highlights. They're so beautiful in the pan. But here, oh God. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Isn't it so, so pretty? Let me do a swatch. Look at that. There is Pink Glow. It has like such a beautiful kind of like peachiness to it. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I've got a fan brush here. I'm gonna go into this highlight. And, oh, wow. Oof. That is, wow. That's wow. <laughs> it's the only word I have. That is wow. Mm, 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 mm. That is beautiful. It looks nice and wet. <laughs> I love a wet looking highlight. Oh, how gorgeous. That is pink glow. Let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply some brows and I'll be right back. All right, I have some of their um, long wear cream shadow sticks and I am so excited to be trying these out. As you guys know, I've been loving the one and done shadow. I've been, I've always loved the one and done shadow. I'm not the biggest like, you know, fancy eyeshadow person. And these sticks are just so, so easy to use. All right, these are the four shades that I have. So this one is vanilla. Then we have truffle. Then we have malted pink and then golden bronze. So golden bronze and truffle are like a, a satin and the malted pink and the vanilla are matte. Look at these four together. Oh my God, this is like perfect. Vanilla looks like it would be an amazing like base. I think I'm gonna start with Malted Pink. So that's the matte shade here. It's like kind of like a fleshy kind of pink color. And actually I'm going to read about these. So Long Wear Cream Shadows, um, I'm just wondering if they set down completely because that will determine how I work with them. So let me see. Again, I'm on the Sephora site. It says, a long lasting do it all eyeshadow with a budge proof formula that stays put for up to eight hours. Just swipe and go. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna work one eye at a time and I'm gonna start with my right eye over here. And I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner, uh, center part of my lid and just blend this out a little bit. It's almost like my skin tone. It's just adding a little bit of warmth, which is really nice. And then do the same for my left eye. These are really creamy. And then I'm gonna take the golden bronze and just add this to the outer corner here and blend in with my finger. Kind of get it into my lash line too here. Wow, that's so easy. I'm gonna try it with a brush because sometimes I'm just not the best with my fingers. So I just wanna see if a brush is an option here. So I've got a small blending brush here and I'm just brushing it over the crayon and adding it to the outer corner here. Oh yeah, that's, that's actually easier <laughs> than my big clumsy finger. And you definitely have enough time to like work out the product. I don't feel like I'm rushing. There are some products that are budge proof that I feel like they dry down just a little bit too quickly. Like they don't give you the chance to actually blend it out. But this, I feel it stays movable for, you know, long enough. And then I'm just gonna take the pencil and just kind of drag it in my lash line here. Wow, this golden bronze shade with this malted pink. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna grab the um, truffle shade. This is the one that has that satin finish to it. 
and I'm going to add this just to like the inner corners here. I'm also gonna grab a pencil brush and go back to that golden bronze and run the brush over the crayon and then just drag it onto my lower lash line here. Wow, so easy. That is a beautiful shade. I really like that golden bronze. That is very, very pretty. All right, just gonna curl my lashes here and then we'll throw on the Smoky Eye Mascara. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting silver packaging, but here is the Smoky Eye Mascara. Let's see what the wand looks like. Nice, basic, like natural bristle brush kind of wand. So again, I'm on the Sephora site reading about this. It's a cool pigmented mascara that delivers instant volume and super saturated length for dramatically dark stretched out lashes. Okay, so this doesn't seem like it's waterproof in any way, which is fine. With one pass, they're very like wispy. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go in with a second coat. Oh yeah, a lot more volume. Volume and length. It's not really holding my curl, but um, not, not many mascaras do. <laughs> Unfortunately, my super duper straight eyelashes, they're cursed, but nice volume and length. All right. Wow, I feel like that mascara made my eyes look considerably more dramatic. Mm -hmm. And finally, okay, I'm really excited for this because this is a new product. Um, I saw it on Sephora. It's in my cart, so I'm so excited to be trying this out. This is in the shade Honey. It is the Crushed Shine Jelly Stick. It is a stick gel for your lips. Um, and again, I think I just said this, but I have the shade Honey number two. Wow. Okay, this is the packaging. That is so cool. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like loose sight around the actual color. I don't even know how to get to... Oh. Oh. Oh, how cool. And then you just push the top... Is it the top? Yeah, the top down, and then the product comes out the bottom. This looks so up my alley. So there is honey and it looks like a tinted balm, basically. So nice and moisturizing. I love the like little gloss it gives. So easy to apply, feels so great. This rolls up and down, by the way. I don't think that there's any scent whatsoever, which is nice. I'm just so like enamored with this packaging. It's so cool. So I think I just, yeah, I just stick it back stick it back up there and then again it's just pushed down the top and then how cool oh I love it it just looks so neat so there are six shades of these I think I'm gonna need to get some more um, honey it looks like is like the most uh, kind of neutral and it's a moisturizing swipe and go lipstick that builds from a sheer popsicle tint to a bold pop of color with a soft shine finish yeah the shine is definitely like a soft kind of like satin shine Fruit oils and hyaluronic acid, visibly plump and smooth while improving lips moisture barrier. All right, well, everything is applied and I'm just gonna do kind of like one last close look at this foundation before I get on with my day. Yeah, I think everything looks really good still. No breaking up, it's only been 45 minutes. All right, so everything is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first check-in. Hey guys, here for my first check-in. I just ran a couple of errands. So um, I had my face mask on twice for about an hour each. So just to give you some reference, it's also about one o'clock in the afternoon. So I put this makeup on, I had an early start today. I think it was like seven that I got started. Um, so I've had this makeup on for six hours already. <laughs> wow, that, that's news to me. Today has just like flown by, um, but everything, I did reapply the lipstick, but everything else I have not touched and it looks really nice. This foundation is super, super smooth, and the coverage is really great. It's very even, and it definitely has like a matte, like a matter finish, but it doesn't look dry on my skin. It actually just looks very, very natural. I'm really happy about it. 
So this is the side that I powdered, so my right side. So this is the side that I powdered. This is the side that I kind of left uh, unpowdered as is. And I did feel like the foundation when I had first applied it, it was a little bit tacky. So like my bronzer, I feel like went on a little bit patchy. I just had to kind of make a little bit more effort to blend it out. Um, I think it looks fine. But now that six hours has passed, it doesn't feel tacky at all. It has completely dried down. And I don't really see a difference between the two sides at all. Just a quick look at my forehead here and my deep, deep wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it looks really, really good. It looks great underneath the eyes. So again, powdered, unpowdered. I really don't see that much of a difference at all. And I don't have any concealer on. So this is just foundation. Um, it's not sinking into like my laugh lines. My nose area looks good despite wearing a mask a couple of times. This really is a long wearing foundation. I'm really impressed. I'm also really impressed with the mascara not one little smudge and it's not a waterproof mascara so that is excellent and uh did i mention i'm standing in natural light i, I i'm gonna assume that you <laughs> that you realize i'm standing in front of a window uh and not my studio lighting so i am standing here in natural light sorry if i forgot to mention that um i also have those long wear cream shadow sticks on those i expect to stay those kind of shadow sticks usually don't budge um don't budge on me and they haven't so that's great yeah, and that highlight, oh, it's so wet and smooth looking. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So, so far so good after um, six hours. So I'm really, really happy with this makeup. Anyway, I'll be back later on today to do my final check and give you my final thoughts and see how all of this has worn. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it is uh, the end of my day. It is actually seven o'clock. So I've had this makeup on for 12 hours, a lot longer than I was planning. But again, my day just really got away from me. Anyway, 12 hours later, look, look at this makeup. <laughs> it still looks amazing, amazing. And I have had, I'm trying to think, I was in and out all day. So I had to put my mask on three different occasions and probably about an hour each time. So this is the result of some mask wearing. I don't see any wearing away whatsoever because of the mask. I'm even looking at my nose. My nose does look a little bit shiny and I do feel like the foundation has worn away a little bit on my nose. Um, maybe not even around my nostrils because I feel like the redness is still camouflage, but like the tip of my nose looks a little bit shiny. So maybe like right up here because of my mask, maybe that has worn off a little, but that's it. That is it, you guys. Look at this foundation. Look at everything. I did reapply the lipstick. <laughs> this for sure, I had to reapply. This is not long lasting at all. It's very moisturizing. It feels great on the lips, all those things. So this is not long lasting at all. Everything else though, the um, long wear cream shadow stick, is that what they're called? Long wear, yeah, cream shadow stick. Those are still there. This mascara, like no, sm oh, a little smudging. I see a little bit of smudging right here, but that's it. That's it, the highlight is still beaming, but this foundation, I am so, so impressed with this foundation. Same level of coverage, no wearing away, no weirdness or anything. So I'm just gonna zoom in here so you guys can see with your own two eyes how much this looks like it did when I first put it on. So I'm just gonna start at my forehead and pan down, but like no wearing away along my hairline, which happens often. It looks great around the eyes. And if you guys remember, I did not put on any concealer. So I still have some coverage underneath my eyes. That's all still there. Doesn't look dry or anything. And I only powdered one side of my face. So I only powdered <laughs> the right side of my face. But I don't think it's made. I don't think it's made any difference. I really don't. So natural not even emphasizing any of my lines in my forehead or my laugh lines at all. 
Well, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. And a huge thank you to Bobby Brown for sponsoring this video. Thank you so, so much. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.